We're living a hard life out here and it's sometimes a really scary place to live. But we need to do it, someone needs to do it. John Flynn had a saying that he was providing a mantle of safety for those that lived and worked in the bush. The challenge we have is obviously the tyranny of distance. We have to respond to incidents that could be six, seven, eight hundred kilometres away, delivering that finest care to the furthest corner, which is our promise. We're about to embark on a new era for the Royal Flying Doctor Service. What we've come up with is going to be a game changer in the aeromedical industry. Our furthest corner that we, we often talk about is now closer than ever before. We are going to get to them in half the time that we, we normally have in the past and we're going to provide the best ever care. We designed it, Pilatus built it, but with generous support from our community and our corporate sponsors, we now have the ultimate flying intensive care unit, the RFDS Medijet 24. For all the aircraft that are being built in the world, there's no other aircraft that suits what we do better than the Medijet 24. It's an amazing, amazing bit of equipment. Um, you know, we can fly at 45,000 feet over all the weather, over 400 knots, and then still go and land on a dirt strip in the middle of the outback. This is a world first. We've built an aeromedical jet from the ground up that's bespoke, it's set up as an intensive care ward. Time saves lives. Support to regional communities, remote communities, and the mining sector has just got easier, much more efficient. Flying Doctor is iconic to Australia. It paints the picture of Australia and the outback. None of it would happen without the Flying Doctor. We all need medical help, we all need to have attention at some time, and without them, well, what is there? I quite often think about what John Friend would think about the service, you know, nearly 91 years on from the day that it was established and think that he couldn't have imagined what it might look like and I'm sure I can't imagine what it might look like in another 90 years. But uh, like John Friend once said, if you start something worthwhile, you can't stop it.